Hey folks, Father Sampathik from CG Virus here. Uh, today we're going to see the final version of uh, how to set up retopology scene for Blender in Blender 2.8. Okay, so first of all, we're going to use some uh, preferences uh, add ons. Uh, number one is F2, uh, second one is B surface, third one is Look Tool, and uh, fourth one is Relax Tool if you want to. Okay, so these are uh, by the way, this is 2.81. Okay, 2.81, it is not 2.8. Okay, so 2.81 alpha. So, and uh, this is the creature from uh, CGC, CG Cookie, classic creature. Okay, you can download it from BlendSwap as well. So, I'm I will go very fast here uh, because we have already covered uh, it a little bit uh, before. So, if you want to see that, you can see it. So, this is the final report we are uh, going to make here. All right, so let's get it started. All right, so let's first uh, select this creature. I'm going for somewhat off-white off -white color here. And uh, you need to go to the studio and uh, check object for it. So now it's all right. So uh, go to the filter and go to the selection and uh, disable this to disable the selection here. Okay. Uh, so the state was uh, is basically uh, you know some uh, kind of uh, decimated object here. Okay, yeah. Okay, let's unselect it. Uh, disable the selection. Okay, now let's create our first retopo object here. So I'm going to name it retopo. Now let's go to the edit mode. In edit mode, we are going to change something. So um, by default, it is select box. Uh, change it to tweak. Um, the shift and uh, two to uh, shift two to select edge as well. By the way, you will see all of the keystrokes here. So yeah, and uh, let's change it to local. Uh, select the snap and change it to faces. Go for project onto self and check project individual check move rotate scale check and other things are pretty much fine. Okay, so now. Uh, if you want to see it, you can see it here, which is good. So I want to create some uh, stuff first here as well. So first one is basically I want a shrink wrap modifier here. Let's go for shrink wrap, and the target should be creature high. Um, yeah, it should be above surface, near surface on. Uh, press this edit mode on catch. Okay, done. So then you can use a mirror modifier as well. So the mirror should be at top. We can check this guy as well. Uh, check clipping. So if you want to see it much more better, yeah, here we go, clipping. And other things are almost fine. So if you want to use um, subdivision surface, you can use Control 2 to use a subdivision surface. And it should be beneath uh, shrink wrap. So yeah, here we go. And uh, now let's talk about this, guys. So go to the let's um, uh, see the object properties. I want to go here. Uh, I want to see the faces, right? So if you if you check in front, it will give you the front faces. So let's delete everything. Press delete vertices. So we're going to start working on it. And uh, let's get it started. So I want to make a patch first. So press D to use the V surface. Actually, we haven't done anything yet. Sorry. Press D. Right click to yeah. Let's go to the B surface first. So it will find you will find it in uh, uh, tool section. Okay. And uh, in 2.81 it is tool, and uh, in uh, 2.8 it should be here in edit. Okay. And the main change is it is called retopology here, and uh, it is called mesh of B surface here. Okay, so let's not bother about other things for now. Yeah, so what you need to do is basically go to the mesh of B surface and uh, select your retopo two. Okay, retopo two. That means you know our retopology uh, we are in, uh, retopology object, retopolize uh, retopology object. Yeah, the plane. All right, there we go. So now let's uh, create some uh, face loops, uh, edge loops actually, not face loops. Press D and uh, let's create this eye border, eye patch. There we go. Something like that. There we go. Uh, now we can create some uh, edge surface. So you can select it from here. 
or you can create some quick favorites or you can also create some uh, shortcut so i have given it a shortcut that is called control alt b okay let's do it control alt b and uh, here we go so we now we are seeing our object so you can change your color a little bit here as well so yeah there we go okay so now you can see that we can see the faces so i don't want to see that face so what we can do is basically we can go to this guy and we can uh, shading hidden uh, hidden wire so now we are only seeing the hidden wire if you press tab you can see your object here okay so you can go to the modifier and you can see your object here as well you can uncheck mirror for a while uh, yeah uh, you can uncheck uh, everything and check everything as well so not a problem so here we go so now um, the what we can do is basically go to the edit and you will see the look tool is here so what we can do uh, you can also see it in uh, uh, right click look tool okay so what we can do is basically straight it up a little bit so we can use a space and we can use relax okay uh, we can select this loop as well space and relax we can uh, press it uh, anytime so yeah mm, let's go here w and uh, we're going to make it straight up here there you go something like that pretty easy there you go okay so i don't want to waste your too much time so uh, here is here is our look tool okay so now uh, let's see the breakfast calling so uh, there is a problem that we have a backface calling so how to prevent it is basically you can go to here add modifier and use a solidify so let's use 0 0.02 something like that so now you will uh, it will prevent the backface calling so the solidify we're using this solidify just uh, uh, temporarily when everything is done and uh, we're back in our everything uh, all the topology is done you have to you should uh, uh, delete the solidify but for now we're going to use that okay here we go so solidify prevents backface culling for us so which is good and uh, yeah that's it so <coughs> that's how we can work with it press D and uh, let's create some loops so I don't want to waste your time um, just see how we are working uh, pretty easily with it so press alt uh, you can use space and relax you can use these oh, space and relax something like that so if you want to create some more loops you can create it but it should not be from here uh, let's use this uh, let's uncheck the mirror and press D to create some loops here as well okay. so these are the age loops base loops okay so after creating the base loops we can create uh, other loops as well so press alt space and relax so you got the idea right so this is how you can set up your uh, workflow okay um, we were experiment, uh, experimenting with it and uh, um, the basic changes what we have seen that uh, we are we have to use shrink wrap okay shrink wrap is pretty much a very important uh, modifier for things by the way you can uh, record it here here are the things we are using mirror then shrink wrap, then sun vision, then solidify. Okay, so you can record it here as well. So these are our final reports about it. So uh, we can use F2 as well. So press F. Uh, why we are using uh, edge and uh, vertex? Because in F2 we can use F, press F, and press F. So something like that. You know, we can use those things as well, which is good. Also, you can use press V to you know split uh, the you know, vertex to create some uh, other loops uh, other loops man uh, I mean you know uh, this is not the appropriate one this should be the appropriate one so press V to create some uh, direction okay um, book books okay book loops uh, so yeah you can do it like that as well so uh, this is the demo okay and uh, that's how you can work with it press shade is smooth to smooth the shade here as well so yeah so that's how we can work with it okay so these guys are pretty good loop tools and uh, these things so it's pretty easy to do with so let's see this demo here press D and uh, let's press D here again so it's much more faster let's see that surface okay and uh, we can space and relax it Salt, space, and relax it. 
I can also do some kind of loops like uh, suppose press control shift to create uh, this shortest path which is pretty much convenient it was added in 2.7 yeah so suppose we need to relax this guy so press alt <coughs> got shift and uh, press this and it will uh, select all the loops for you so you can now space it relax it okay or just relax it there we go also you can use a new tool uh, that is introduced uh, here which is called relax you will find it in uh, uh, Adam uh, blender 2.81 so it is much more better uh, to use that or you can use also you can use smooth vertices yeah these are all valid all valid solution or uh, you can use press control tab to go to the sculpt mode and press shift to smooth it out a little bit it also works as relax so press tab again to go here so for uh, using a sculpt tool we are uh, for using a sculpt tool and uh, for cylindrical forms we are using shrink wrap as well so shrink wrap is a very important part of our uh, thing okay so yeah that's it and um, yeah so this is the final report of how to set up your stuff here okay and uh, do your stuff so yeah thank you I'm Father Sampati from CG Virus and we're going to see you next time. Bye-bye.